do I teach people who stutter to let go and be themselves and, and to have fun? Because uh, they, they come to me and I really struggle to get them to relax because I, they're just, I know. It's just so serious and so tense. It's, it's the same all over. Well, one of the things that I'm going to suggest to you is, is something which you're going to have to think whether, whether in fact you want to do it. I recommend that you do it. Um, but it takes a little doing, and that is to stop using the word stutter. Okay. And instead, start talking about the challenges of holding back, mm -hmm. letting go. Because that is what the real issue is. Mm -hmm. what, what happens is that when people look at stutter, they, they end up turning it into a thing. Uh, yeah. I, call, uh, I call it thingifying it. Mm -hmm. They thingify it. They make it into a thing. And once, you, once it becomes a thing, like, oh, here it is. I have this thing. Then it can become something to fear. That's it. Yeah. If you start using the words hold back, you can't do that with that. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. Hold back is something that you do. Yeah. And so I talk about the fact that um, you, you can't you can't uh, do something and hold back from doing it at the same time because you get this, this, do it, don't do it, do it, don't do it, do it, don't do it. And can you I ask you, John, yeah. where does it come from, this uh, holding back, this desire to hold back? Where does it come from? Good question. Uh, I it, it can come from... Um, any number of places. For example, <clears throat> my mother, delightful lady, uh, she was uh, uh, she was a kindergarten teacher in her early days before she married my father. Everybody loved Louise Harrison. Uh, but uh, years later, when I visited her in Florida, we were driving uh, along the street. And my mother was, I think, 92 at the time. She was very old. And she turns to me out of the blue, out of the blue. And she said, you know, when I was married to your father, I never had an orgasm. I mean, I mean, really. And after she said that, a little voice in my mind said, it makes sense. My mother did not let go. She oh. never did mm -hmm. things that were outrageous. Yeah. She never, uh, things had to be proper. Things had to be look, things had to look good. Things had to get other people's approval. That's it, yeah. She, she never did things just because she friggin' felt like she wanted to do it. 